If you're looking at a deal and the data suggests that it's not a good area, you can then go to Google, for instance, you know, look up the zip code, see if there's any news reports, any shootings, <laughs> you know, good or bad. It could be good stuff happening in that area too, right? Um, so uh, that, that helps reinforce the data you're seeing on bestplaces.net. But you'll hear, you'll, you'll be able to see everything about that area. What's the income like? What's the unemployment like? What the job prospects are like? That kind of thing. Those two, those two websites are great. And the third thing is having a great underwriter, uh, underwriting calculator, right? Uh, you're going to hear from many, many people actually that you have to analyze 100 deals to find that one. And I find that for many people, they get hung up on, well, that's super. How do I analyze a deal? How the, how the hell do I do that? And they don't know, right? And, and, and that's, that's a valid reason. You know, it's like if they don't know how to analyze a deal, to know if they even have a good deal, they're going to get stop and they're going to like, well, I can't do it. So I'm going to go off and do something else, right? 